What's going on YouTube? This is VX Bomber 718 back at you with another video unboxing. And today I have the Lenovo Legion 7. This is the 16 IRX9. I picked this up from Best Buy for $1,699.99. Total came out to about $1,801 and some change uh, with tax and all that stuff, right? And I picked this up because it is the Glacial White Edition, right? Um, it has um, pretty decent specs for the price. It has an Intel Core i7-14700HX processor. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte storage, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 with eight gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM. Um, now, the interesting thing is that the actual um, GPU or DGPU runs at 115 watts so that's like anything after that you get diminishing returns um on the 4000 series in regards to the 4050 4060 and 4070 um so i think that's pretty decent but we're going to run some benchmarks on it and kind of see what kind of you know uh, scores that it produces um it has an sd card reader um and we're going to go ahead and see the rest of the parts it's using the intel uh, hm770 chipset um and it does have uh two slots for um, M2, um, M.2 2280 um, SSD cards. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and take a look at it. Um, another good thing about it, it has a full HD 1080p webcam with the e shutter as well, and it has an integrated 99.9 .9 watt hour battery and it has a 16 inch screen. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to this and um, let's go ahead and get through with the unboxing. All right, and as you can see, um, we're starting off with this uh, plain uh, Legion box, it's just a cardboard box with some black ink that says L-E-G-I-O-N. You have the Lenovo uh, badge over here in red. Um, pretty much all you get on the side. You don't really get anything in particular. Nothing special about it. Um, on this side is all of the specs and sensitive identification information. Um, at the top, you have, again, uh, this eco-friendly handle, cardboard handle. Um, so instead of plastic, we got this um, eco-friendly handle right here, plant-based handle. There's the Nova Legion right here. Obviously, it's upside down because of the angle in which I have it. You have the Nova badge over here. And on the back, you just have your battery warning sign and some more identification uh, stickers, all right? All right, so we have here a Lenovo uh, sticker seal. So we're gonna go ahead and break that. And as you can see here, we met with hard styrofoam right here. Here's the box with shrink wrap with the laptop is in. And on this side here is our Infinite power supply. All right, Let's take out the power supply, Let's lift this up. All right, standard cardboard box with black ink over it. All right, let's open it up. Here's our power cord. All right. Here's the power brick. Um, there is some heft to it. Yep, there is some heft to it. All right, let's see. Oh, you gotta tear it. Let's just do this. All right, let's see. That is not fun right there. All right, I'm trying to avoid tearing it, but. Okay, here it is, and as you can see at the lower left, it says 230W, 230 watts. Uh, the input for the, um, the power cord right here, which also as well has a, uh, a metal cable tie, but it has a cardboard uh, outing or out of part to it. Let's 
just take this off then. Alright. Okay. Go ahead and plug that in. Alright. So heftwise this has a significant amount of weight. Um, it is not light at all, but that's the price that you pay for the 16 inch laptop. All right, let's move this stuff out the way. Let's go ahead and take out the laptop. No special goodies in here on that box. Okay, it's just this. All right. Okay, let's take a look at the box. So here, as you can see, it's all in shrink wrap. It says L E G I O N. The Novo badge up here. Um, in the back. This is what it looks like, nothing fancy. All right, now there is a pull tab here for the plastic, which I think is very convenient. Let's see what that does. Okay, so don't need a knife to undo the shrimp wrap. Scratch on the box. This is all good. All right. Very high quality box that they're using here. It says Nova Legion right here, like a chrome effect. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. That's what we're working with. All right. So there's a pull tab. It's a soft cloth right here. It's a pull tab. Just gonna take it out. Put it to the side. All right. Now here there are some instructions. Coin cell battery notice. This is uh, I'm assuming a quick start guide. So the Nova Legion 7i 16 inch, and this is the um, ninth series. Uh, notice on the co-pilot key function. And this is uh, I think this might be warranty. Not nah, compliance, recycling, all that stuff. All right. all right, that's all you get in here. Nothing else special, no other secret compartments or anything like that. So, all right, so let's move on to the actual laptop. All right, and it's this nice uh, soft cloth fabric. So you just pull it up here. Wow, it looks really nice. Let's pull this out. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That looks incredible. That looks really, really incredible. Um, it does have some weight to it. Um, so I showed you these specs on the screen um, in the beginning of the video. So it does have some substantial weight, but it feels extremely premium. It has this chrome bar coming across. Um, very similar to the previous year's Slim. I'm not a fan of last year's Lenovo uh, Legion 7i design. It just looked too bulky for me, but the Slim version always impresses. 
Um, so on the right side, we have an SD card slot. We have a USB type C port and we have a USB type A port. And this is also a E shutter switch for the webcam over here. On the rear, we have an HDMI port and this is the proprietary power port for Lenovo. We have a large vent here, large vent here. These are two exhaust vents. And we have a vent here in the center. Nice, nice venting. And then also on this side, which is our left side, so we have one USB type A port with power share and two more USB type C ports. And uh, one of them also is the input for power delivery up to 100 watts. And then you have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. All right, very interesting how they have the port layout. There's uh, two type A's, three type C's, and there's an HDMI, SD card slot, e-shutter switch, and uh, proprietary power with the 3.5 millimeter jack. On the front, as you can see, there's nothing. Let's take a look at the bottom. And this is the bottom. There's one large rubber foot on the back and there's two at the bottom. There are two down firing speakers, and, uh, two watts each. Um, that'll be interesting to hear what that sounds like. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be impressed, but it is what it is. I like this ceramic white design this is a beautiful beautiful design there are one two three four five six seven eight screws um wow this is just i i didn't even open it yet and i'm just extremely impressed by the build quality there's no flex there's no flex and this colorway is absolutely gorgeous you can't even can't really tell it's called glacial white but it looks like a ceramic white and then this chrome bar going around then we have the Lenovo uh, uh, label right here then we have the Legion logo over here all chromed out um, this is a really really I mean the video does not do it justice um, I didn't think I'd be this impressed with the design but I'm gonna tell you, it is hefty, and that power supply is hefty. So just be prepared to carry some weight with you. But man, this is beautiful. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so uh, we have an aluminum top and an aluminum bottom. Um, and this weighs about five pounds, right? Um, I have to put it on a scale, but it weighs about five pounds. It's a 16 inch, uh, 2560 by 1600 IPS display with 500 nits of brightness, 100% of the sRGB uh, color spectrum. It has a 240 hertz display, has display HDR 400, Dolby Vision, G Sync, and uh, low blue light emissions rated screen. Um, so this is really, really nice. It's factory calibrated as well. So I'll take a look at that to see what that looks like. Um, but yeah, very, very, very beautiful laptop. I cannot stress it enough. If if aesthetics, and we're talking about simple aesthetics, not anything fancy, anything like that. If that is your fancy, this is the laptop to get. Wow, this looks incredible. Oh, wow, the keys. Um, it doesn't have a lot of depth in regards to travel. It really reminds me of the Lenovo Legion laptop that I showcased on this channel back in 2021. Um, and I really liked that one. I was like, man, if they could just slim this down and um, just keep the power, I would buy it. This is what I was dreaming for. Now, again, I had the slim also in 2022. I got the slim. But I sold that as well. But man, if I had the slim and it was this color and looked this nice, I would not sell it. Um, also, we have a power button up here at the top. All right. Uh, and the power button does have a fingerprint reader, which is awesome. I really like it. Also, we have our 1080p webcam up top right here. And then we have some stickers over here. We have an Intel Core i7 sticker, NVIDIA GeForce RTX sticker, um, eSupport sticker. We have our Lenovo badge over here with Chrome. And then we have some uh, shortcut 
uh, buttons uh, sticker here to tell you to go from quiet to balance to turbo mode. All right. And again, the keys on this, the travel feels like it has a light travel, but you can just excellently, uh, really good for typing. Um, I don't see my accuracy, anything being diminished um, with this uh, keyboard deck. Um, we have a audio by Harmon uh, writing right here, and there's really nothing else. We have a little legion, it says legion here at the bottom of that bezel. And the bezel, the chin, is really thin, um, which is interesting. I'm going to put it side by side with the 14-inch Lenovo Legion 5 uh, that I have as well, and let you guys see it. Um, but yeah, this is, this is incredible. Trackpad, feels like it's glassed. It's very smooth. I don't feel any friction or resistance. Um, that is nice. Um, now, another thing, this is really signature with Lenovo. The uh, trackpad aligns with the space bar. So that's why you see it shifted over. But this is not like the Lenovo Legion 9i where you know the keyboard is shifted all the way down and the trackpad is shifted all the way over where you have little to no space here for your palms, um, but I have average size hands. Uh, my palms fit on here great without having to touch the trackpad. Um, and for me, Lenovo always has great palm rejection, so I don't see any issues with that. But I, ca I cannot get over this design. It is just absolutely beautiful. There is no flex on the keyboard deck, zero flex. There's no wobble unless you force it but if you do regular typing the screen does not move if you want it to wobble you can wobble it the hinge feels extremely stiff there's no creaking like i had with the 2022 version and um yeah this is this is beautiful so let's go ahead and power it on do a first boot and then i'm going to run some benchmarks on it and you guys will see that video as well so if you have any questions comments or anything like that, let me know in the link down below. And um, yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's power this bad boy up. All right, it's booting up now. And again, I don't see any backlight bleed. Excellent, excellent monitor. Whatever they're using for this, this panel is great. It's an IPS panel, but we'll see what manufacturer it is. All right, and it's loading up. If you want to test out the speaker quality on this as well, um, do some gaming, run some 3D mark on it, see how it performs. Also with Firmark, uh, see what it scores. Um, also do a CPU Z bench as well as um, a center bench and see how this CPU performs. This is a 14700 HX processor paired with a 4016. I think a 47 probably would have been perfect with this, but this is the only one they have in white. So, and there it is. Very, very excellent design. I really do like this quality. Did not see any backlight bleed or any un, uh, ununiform uh, backlighting on this um, the screen is excellent it's 240 Hertz which is pretty uh, you know a little bit much for 4060 but who's gonna argue with that right um, excellent display great build quality no flexing great keyboard right here um, nice travel distance not the best not the deepest but uh, I think it's good enough for typing does not affect my accuracy and you have a 1080p webcam at the top fingerprint reader in the power as you can see here, the power button lights up and it has a new uh, Lunesian uh, logo uh, in it. And again, uh, you got a nice numpad. Uh, there's no complaints. This is a solid build quality. I wish I would have known this was coming out sooner, maybe about a year ago. And I would have waited to get this as my 16 inch laptop, but I got an Asus um, ROG Zephyrus Duo 16. But I have no complaints about this. If you're looking for a 16 inch laptop right now, you want something slim, under five pounds, uh, that has 115 watt GPU, which will perform really good. A 2K screen, 500 nits, 240 hertz with G-Sync. 
um, you can't go wrong with this. All right, highly recommend it. I'm going to have to do some benchmarks. And if you have any questions, I'm going to answer that in the next video. You'll see the benchmarks, questions answered, uh, maybe little nuances and things that I find and pick out. I'll share with you guys. But this is a excellently built product. I have no complaints and I'm in love with it. I don't even know what to do, but I'm in love with it. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.